for the Vitals. The gentleman against the Hun. The Hun is younger on the tail of the tape. He's taller. He has a reach advantage, has a considerable weight advantage. He has the confidence of being the Thunderbox champion. Could one man have any more going for him? Well, the Hun is definitely coming from a great place. He's undefeated in the Thunderbox ring and has come back to defend his title. There he is. There is your reigning Thunderbox champion, Attila the Hun Levin, dominating in the previous Thunderbox tournament. Can he do it again? Will he do it again? Or will the gentleman take the title from Attila? The road to Thunderbox continues. AJ Moore and Attila the Hun Levin. Now the last time the gentleman fought in the Thunderbox, he put on a great fight against Dominic Quinn, but ended up losing by decision after six rounds. Oddly enough, that was the same night that Levin was crowned a Thunderbox champion. So Moore has a lot to prove tonight, and if he wins, this would be a huge step for the gentleman. This is a fight we've waited a long, long time for. The Hun back in the house of Thunderbox. Let's get the official introductions from Fred Blumstein. It's devastation time. Racing the arena is a devastating knockout machine. He is the undisputed Thunderbox champion from Sweden, Attila the Hun Levin. I don't think I get hit a lot. I mean, this is the fight game. Of course, you, you're going to get hit sometimes, but I don't think I get hit that much. I mean, still, I'm still a pretty man. But I'm still going to put the pressure on because, I mean, he's going to be, because he's smaller, he's going to want to be on the inside with me, and I'm just going to take it to the inside too much. I'm able to mix it up, both fight inside and outside. I mean, you have to be able to do both. I take one fight at a time. Now I focus all my attention on this fight. Next fight, I focus all my attention on that fight. One fight at a time, that's all I do. Here comes a mighty warrior with lightning quick speed. He's fighting out of the black corner, the gentleman, A.J. Moore. Boxing. I, I love the sport. I, I think I fight well, and um, I think I prepare myself well to come in and fight. Until the event, he's, he's a great fighter. I mean, you can't take anything from him. He's trained. He was trained by Angelo Dundee. Angelo Dundee wouldn't waste his time with a half-rate fighter. You know, I'm not going to try to take anything from Attila Levin, but if Attila Levin feels like that he's going to have an easy fight tonight, I, I really think he's underestimating him. So, I mean, I think that's the only person that matters. I can beat Attila. You know, that's, I mean, physical attributes and everything, skill-wise, I, you know, I, I don't think he's, he's going to overwhelm me, you know. Um, but will I beat him? That's, that's left to be said tonight. AJ Moore is in a whole lot of trouble tonight. Well, it really depends on the focus and the drive and the confidence of these two fighters tonight. With the three side is Daphne in the corner of the defending Thunderbox champion, Attila the Hun. And Daphne, your man would love to regain that championship. Is he ready to go tonight? Oh, he's completely ready to go. He's been training the way he trained last season, and he's the man to beat. I'll tell you. You know, I, I say some good things about a lot of the Thunderbox fighters, but without a doubt, the one that has stood out more than any of the Thunderbox fighters is Daphne's fighter. I mean, Attila, I think, has what it takes to become Thunderbox champion, Again. heavyweight champion. I mean, he's got it, and I'm not just saying it because she's here right now. It's, uh -huh. He's awesome. What do you think? I completely you agree with him. That's for damn sure. Now, Lucia, you look at Attila. You saw Attila in the locker room. He looks like he's ready to go. What kind of inspiration does Daphne give Attila, do you think? Uh, you could be his wife or his girlfriend. I mean, you would be a great couple. You're both beautiful. It's really, he's a handsome man, and he's he's a serious athlete, and you seem a very serious girl. And, yeah, yeah, all the people out there in Thunderbox want to know what your intentions are with Attila, beyond boxing. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to go there. <laughs> right. Daphne says her man is ready inside the ring. We'll find out later. We'll be back with Thunderbox. Attila is uh, definitely hungry to win his fight. He looks in shape, he's focused. And you told us at the top of the show, you went into the locker room of A.J. Moore and you saw fear in his eyes. Oh yeah. I mean, the moment before a fight, that's the, that's the I call that the moment of truth. Keep our eyes on the ring right now as the big man, Attila the Hun Levin, in the ring. He is the defending Thunderbox champion. This Thunderbox qualifier 
He's going to use this as a warm-up, and you can see the size disadvantage for the gentleman. Good right hand. Listening to A.J. Moore in the interview oh, this oh, afternoon. He has been oh, good. good counter right, though, by the gentleman. Not being gentlemanly here tonight against the Hun. Body shot by A.J. Moore. Ricky, you've been kind of quiet here. You just, so you're just. I'm telling you, you are going to see a knockout. You are going to see. You know, you got Mark Breland from uh, welterweight champion. He's yep. working until his corner. So obviously, he's getting some good advice. Also, Angelo well, Dundee you are looking trains at Attila the Hunt. There, you've got two incredible forces Single behind him. by the gentleman scores. He got. He also got hit with a left hook. Attila. I'm telling you straight out, Attila is going to be a future superstar. Yeah, I think so too. I'll tell you what, though, Moore might have looked fearful in the dressing room in Sharp. the ring. He gets tattooed, his skull rattled by the power shots of the Hun. Another shot by the Hun. Moore, though, just right there, hanging in. Jab by the Hun. Things settling in a little bit. Hun came out very, very strong. Great left, right. You see that? Yes. Overhand oh, right scores in a straight left hand. Clean shots. By Attila the Hun Levin. He's landing them all. He's landing the jab. <laughs> Stop turning Watch around. Attila the Hun keeps moving forward. Doesn't get to do much boxing in Stockholm, Sweden. It's illegal there. Why well, he's over here living in Florida. Oh, my God, that body shot. Double body shot to straight left by the Hunt. The Hunt, another ripping right hand. Moore being used as a punching bag right now by the Thunderbox champ. Beautiful. That body shot is beautiful. Look into the eyes of Levin. He is ultimately confident, calm, totally within himself. A.J. Moore whistles the left hand and pays the price to the body. I think it's just a matter of time. This fight is just a this matter of time. This is going to be a knockout, ladies and gentlemen. I'm saying in the third round. Ricky Rackman going out on that limb hand goal, hand and goal. predicting a knockout here as the Thunderbox <laughs> champion. Attila the Hunt Livin is trying to warm up for the future tournament. He wants to defend that championship. He has brought himself all kinds of notoriety by winning a Thunderbox championship last time around. He likes the attention. He's back for more. And tonight, his opponent, A.J. Moore, is in a whole lot of trouble. More to come. He's, he's going to murder him. All right, that was the first round. You got to rid of that. Okay, now you won. Now it's time to go to work. Be smart now, okay? After that. Yeah. All right, don't go in and try to knock him out. Go in to connect. You gotta connect. This is fast and patient. You gotta connect to that jab. Jab, jab, jab. All night long. Wear him up. Hooks to the body. Back up. Hooks to the body. Back up. You hear me? Until you got him, then you... He's been hit several times. Yeah, but it was a slap. If he turns over that left hook, right. he gets a little sloppy because he's confident and he thinks that he can handle him. The Hun taking a sip. He worked up a thirst in round one as he really dominated the gentleman. There's the straight right hand, pounding away the right hand counter by A.J. Moore, the gentleman. But right now, round one, certainly a big round for the Hunt, the defending Thunderbox champion. <laughs> You might recall his victory over the Sandman in the finals of the last Thunderbox tournament. Devastating the Sandman with a oh. knockout win. Oh, the uppercut by the Hunt on the button. Right-left combination again. Right off the jaw of Moore. This is a pleasure for the eye to see, to see this man punch. To Pounding hear. body shot. You could hear that outside of Harrisburg all the way up to Pittsburgh. The Hunt sitting down in his punches. The Hunt could be a little more active. I mean, if you're looking for something from the Hunt to talk about and try to critique, there's not a lot there. Maybe, but he's, maybe he's showing this guy too much respect. He's though, just not wasting blows. Moore's throwing a lot of things out there that aren't connecting. He's conserving energy for the knockout, which will be next round. And he's, he's landing the punches that he throws. He's not wasting any energy. He racked and predicting a oh, knockout. Big right hand there by the Hunt, right over the le left hand. Of more, Moore's guard is coming lower and lower each minute. 
close by. Some blood on the shoulder of uh, Attila, and I can't see where it's coming from from Moore. It's coming from some orifice or some ripped face. This is battle round two. Could it be coming from the eye? Push it off, push it off. His eyeball looks red. It doesn't look like his eyes are up, but his eye looks quite red. Could be a little nick under the eye. We'll have to wait and see. Good body shot inside by Moore. Who stays right there? He said, The one thing I'm going to surprise the Hun with is my power. And that blood, my friend Ricky Rackman, could be coming from the nose of the Hun. Yeah, I think so too. Could have been a punch, could have been a head, but yes, it You're is. Right, it is. Coming from the nose of Attila the Hun. Yeah, it's running. Come on, Attila, don't make me look like an idiot. Overhand right, pounding body shot by Attila Levin. And the left hand by Levin. Useless. Sweeping left hand scores by Moore. Jay Moore said he is in shape. The gentleman, in his gentlemanly manner, said, I am in shape. I believe I'm in better shape than the Hunt. I will pull the upset tonight. Hunt really scoring some serious pounding power shots. You know, the Hunt hasn't been in a fight, I believe, since Thunderbox, so I hope he's not soft. Overhand right. Five more scores. Punch out, punch out, punch out. Thunderbox Championship brought a lot of notoriety to the Hun. Do you think he might have slacked off in training? You never know. No, I don't think so. He's sharp in his punches. I think that he underestimated his opponent. He thought it was an easy knockout, but it's not going to be. A.J. Moore wants to take this fight into the late rounds. Battle round two coming to a close. Don't forget, round three, the prediction round by Double R. He predicts the knockout next round for the Hun. Stick around and find out if Double R was right. You gotta put the pressure on this kid, okay? That jab gotta just fly, baby. Gotta fly. Let it, let, keep working with that jab. Put that right hand behind him, okay? When you go with that left hook to the body, come up in the middle instead. You hear me? Uh, all right. The blood from the nose of Attila the Hun Levin has been stopped earlier in battle round two. Look for the uppercut. There it is, rocking the head back of the gentleman. A good body work. Gentlemen, though, A.J. Moore has come to fight in Thunderbox tonight. It's a chance of a lifetime for him to turn around his career. It just looks like Attila is definitely more precise with his jabs, more precise with his punches. I mean, it looks like Moore's just kind of throwing him out there haphazardly. Battle round three, Rick predicted the knockout. Lucia, you know that Levin wants the knockout. Do you think that he will get frustrated as the fight wears on if, if the knockout does not come? He's very hungry for a knockout. If he just takes his time, I think it, that, that Moore will walk right into it. But he's going after it a little bit too eager. Nice jab by the Hunt. Moore keeps his hands up high. Jab by the Hunt again. More with the jab. Stiff jab. Double jab by the Hunt. Right off the nose of A.J. Moore, the gentleman. Jab of Hunt. Get it to set up the right hand. Nice combination by the Hunt. Oh, powerful left hand. Oh, it's getting to Moore. He's, he's, he starts to feel... Oh, the, he is just connecting every one of those oh. jabs right on Moore's skull. I'm just taking a beating. Moore just coming for more. He's got to pick those hands up. Those jabs are really taking their toll on Moore. Overhand right by Moore comes up short. Big left hand by the Hun. Moore trying to score a left hand. You can see the Hun. You can see the determination on his face. Beginning to feel some momentum. Picking up the pace here in battle round three, midway through. And the Hun looking around the ring. Had his wife come from Sweden last time for the championship, for the Thunderbox championship, and she took the trophy home overseas. He wants to keep it there. What is with Moore? He's taking all these punches, and he's not showing anything. He's just... Think he's doing it on purpose? Another power shot by the Hun with a left hand, and Moore up against the ropes. This is Wiley. you got to give him something for heart. Oh, my God. Uppercut oh, my God. Oh, finish it. Moore is hurt. This is the third round. Break, Ricky break, predicted break. that the Hunt would score the knockout in round three. I have not been wrong on a prediction yet, Larry. 
Oh my God, that left hook! This is the first prediction. Oh, follow up with the right hand, come on. Another huge left hand by the Hunt. Body oh, shot with the right. Up. up with the left to the head again. Little elbow Watch inside the by the gentleman. Watch the head. Watch the head. Trying to make some kind of effort to keep the Hunt off. Yeah, this is just a matter of time. He's chasing him down. Time is running out on the prediction of Ricky. That's a hip shot. Right to the hip of Moore. Straight right hand by Moore. Little combination by oh the Hunt. Left to the body, right to the head. Lock winding down. Ricky Rackman will owe me big time if this does not happen. Well, I told you the fourth round there, Larry. Oh, excuse me. Rackman predicts a fourth round knockout. Stick around and see if he is right or wrong for the second time tonight on Thunderbox. Boy, the face of the objection, the gentleman. I'm doing my Wondering job. if it will continue okay. earlier. In battle round three, the Hun really went to the body and head with a vengeance, trying to put more away. I think in that last round, Attila must have connected with hey, definitely over a dozen jabs right to more skull. Problem in the corner of the gentleman. Does Here's he have him. a problem with the side? He's done. He's done. Yeah. No. That's all. He's no. done. That's it. He's done. You got a buster in your drum. That's it. Attila Vahan, victorious in a Thunderbox qualifier. Of course, he is the defending champion. And what's, you can see his, why. He's going to do something. Oh. A little flex you know by what? the Hunt. I like him. I'm telling you right now, that guy is a superstar. And how many rounds did it go, Larry? How many rounds did that, that, that fight go? It went three. Your prediction of four rounds, Ricky, I did said not three hold rounds. You know I was four. kidding. I said three. I give Ricky his due. He said three. It went three. And the Hunt victorious tonight. What do you think of the Hunt, Lucia? I, th I love him. I love his punches. I love love his sharpness. He lands all his punches. I like how he slips. I, I'd like him to use the slips and come back with something. Um, I hope he his next fight he'll have an opponent with the same skill as he has so he can show that, you know, his defense he needs to work on maybe a little bit, but definitely how he lands that left hook. Oh, my God. It gives me a chill. Got goosebumps from that left hook. Oh, Lucia, my God, look at those goosebumps. The Hunt and Daphne in the corner. Lovely Daphne looking fine as always. The Hunt victorious. He is the champion of Thunderbox, the defending champion of Thunderbox. And he comes back in a qualifier to show you just why. Ricky Rackman is in the corner with the Hunt. Take it away, Double R. Well, I'll tell you, it looks like his fighter wasn't able to answer the bell for the fourth round. I did tell you three rounds. You remember that. We're here with Attila the Hunt Levin right now. Former champion of Thunderbox, obviously on his way to maybe becoming a Thunderbox champion twice. Congratulations on the fight. First of all, being a former champion of Thunderbox, what does Thunderbox mean to you? Oh, it's meant a lot. I mean, I, people pay me much more respect after I won this thing, and I mean, I'm just happy that I'm, that I'm able to perform and. I'm healthy and everything. And you feel good? You're ready to take it another time? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm ready to go, man. I'm pumped up now and ready to go. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll tell you, Attila the Hun Levin, I've said it before, this guy is a superstar. Larry. All right, Ricky. 